Hi, Ria. Hi, Cynthia. So I was listening while Pete was interviewing you, and I had a few questions about things you've already said. Uh -huh. So I thought we would just go back a little bit. Okay. Um, and probably go forward at the same time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, earlier, a lot earlier, you were talking about unconditional love. Uh -huh. And a lot of times nowadays, people will say unconditional love and self-acceptance. Uh -huh. There's a lot of different meanings around that. And uh -huh. sometimes it basically... People will say self-acceptance means anything that anybody wants to do is just fine. Uh -huh. So I wanted to find out from you what you thought about self-acceptance and how it's related to unconditional love. That's a very, very broad question. Um, I'll try to do as best as I, my best, as good as I can. Self-acceptance in the sense of unconditional love towards oneself, because we're talking now about unconditional love towards oneself, which is the base of unconditional love towards the outside means not that I find everything that I do just right and great. It's got nothing to do with that. What it means is that when I see myself moving through life, that I accept myself as a person with all my weaknesses and with all the strength that I have and telling myself whatever I do, I can still love myself the way most good mothers love their children. They might do horrible things, they still love them, but they still don't think that it's good what their child does and will still educate it. Mm. So self-acceptance in this sense means I'm accepting that I am the way I am, with all the good things in me, but also with all the weaknesses that I have, not to call them bad things. Yeah? Mm. At the same time, with my unconditional love, I will love myself. But I won't love that what is not good in me. Mm. But I will love myself for being the person with also with these weaknesses. I'm not going to love myself less because I've got these weaknesses. And at the same time, I have to be aware that these things in me that are not good can be changed. So self-acceptance doesn't mean, okay, this is what I am and that's how it's going to stay because this is what I am. Sorry. No. It means I have acknowledged my weaknesses and from the moment on I acknowledge and accept them I've got them clearly aware mm. and if I've got them clearly aware I can actually start working on them mm. and hopefully change them it's interesting because when you talk about unconditional love you're talking about unconditional love for oneself mm -hmm. and a lot of times people will look at unconditional love oh I'm going to give other people unconditional love and they completely bypass the unconditional love towards oneself. It's actually something for many people it doesn't even occur to them. Mm -hmm. So That's I know true. in the Sasanian method, being oneself, could you describe that that is what you're talking about? Unconditional love towards oneself could equal being oneself? Or in the same direction? If one really um, starts to become oneself, one automatically falls into being a being of unconditional love. Mm. It's just um, inevitable, really. Mm. Because when one is oneself, one is not depending on one's own emotions or any other's emotions. Mm. Because the being and the emotion is not particularly the same. The emotions are the personality things which is not what one really is. It's only the rapage to come through this life and to learn in this life. Yeah? Mm. But the real being doesn't have those emotions. So if I am becoming my real being, I don't have these emotions. They won't color my life anymore. So I will automatically become a person of unconditional love. If I'm really the total potential of what I really am. Mm. Which, of course, is not that easy. Right. It sounds all very easy, but... It, uh, <laughs> It's, it's a big path. 